Welcome to the Have a Nice Death Guide. We've got a lot to cover here, so make sure to brush your teeth and grab your coffee. And let's get into it. Currencies. There's three currencies in the game. Ingots, Solary, Prismium. First off, ingots, you spend them here in between runs. You can earn them at the end of your runs. To, you don't have to beat a run to, to earn them. You will earn them no matter what. And you can get them occasionally dropped by enemies. You'll go here. This is where you unlock weapons and more food for buffs. And essentially, there's a, there's a really cool unlock system in here where if you complete the tasks given... Right now, this one, for example, is 68 out of 150. It will slowly start to give you more of a, a discount on the item. So keep an eye on that. Usually you'll end up with, once you get good at the game, you'll have more ingots than you know what to do with, and you'll be buying things for full price, and it, it doesn't really matter. Now let's check out the in-game currencies. All right, so we have Solary. You can see the little ghost guy up at the top of the 66 next to him. Mark right here is our vendor who sells us all the fancy stuff at the shop. This is where you'll spend your Solary. You can buy things like a pure heal, weapons. One thing you can also do here is you can use Prismium. You can see the little icon there. You can spend one. We don't have one currently. It will give you an additional item slot for the store. It will also re-roll everything in here. So if you see something here that you want, like this pure, pure heal, we'll buy it. That's going to give you a little bit of health back. All right, now we're going to go over and take a look at Prismium. Okay, so this is the main place you're going to want to spend your Prismium. You can spend your Prismium here to upgrade your Scythe. It costs one Prismium to upgrade your Scythe to the next level. And then it will unlock the next levels, and they also cost just one Prismium to, to upgrade there. You can also use Solary or Prismium here to upgrade weapons. I don't recommend using Prismium for the first upgrade, because they're so cheap. Prismium is worth up to 150 Solary, essentially, because each upgrade in here, it goes 50, then the next one is 100, then 150. Right, so if we do this, use the Solary here. I don't mind using a Prismium here, if I had one, to upgrade this one more level. It's fine. I wouldn't recommend doing it earlier, though. And that is your Solary and Prismium covered, guys. Now we're going to take a look at the healing, the animas, blue and yellow. Okay, so animas are your healing potions in this game. You can see up in the top left-hand corner, you're allowed to hold up to three. There's the blue and the yellow. It doesn't matter what combination you have. You can have three yellows, three blues. It doesn't matter. Uh, we're going to start with yellow here. What yellow does is it gives you 25 pure heal. And what that means is it's going to give you 25 health, and it will fill back up beyond where that gray line is. Blue will only go up to the gray line on your health meter, not beyond that. Also keep in mind that if you have yellow, it doesn't matter where it is. Say you have two blues and a yellow in your animas. It always, the game always prioritizes the yellow. It will always use the yellow first, no matter where it is located in your inventory. So we'll hit the button. We get the healing. So that's... We've gotten a full heal, it's filled us up 25, and we're, we're moving up there. So you can see that. Now we're going to use the blue, and we're going to get our 15. It doesn't, it, and it will only go up to where the gray meter is. It won't go beyond that. Whereas the, the yellow, you could see, it actually gave us more total health. There you go. There's our blue. I think that's all there is to cover on... The animas. I wanted to make sure that it, it is important to realize. Oh, there is one more little detail. If you have, if you have three blue animas, and you see a fourth on a fourth one drops on the map, nothing will happen. The, if you pick it up, the fourth one just disappears. You don't get more health. You don't get any automatic healing or anything like that. If you have three blue animas already and you see and you pick up a yellow one on top of it the yellow one will replace a blue one so that's important to realize because yellow is better 
All right, now we're gonna just touch quickly on coffees. On top of animas, you can also get coffees that will heal you. You'll get this one here, it's a small coffee. that gives you a nice little chunk of healing. And then you can also get a larger cup of coffee that will give you a pure heal of 25. And that wraps up my beginner's guide to have a nice death. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss my upcoming guides. We've got the fighting guide coming up next. Lots of little tips and tricks in there to help you get through the game. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, have a nice day.